All right, welcome back for part two. If you've noticed here, I did finally um, find a leftover, which is a whole bunch. I wish I could give this away to people, but, um, or maybe I'll try, I'll try it on my nails. But this is what the nails look like for the Impress Me nails. Anyway, moving along, I got these um, antibacterial toothbrush cases from the Dollar Tree. Uh, you get four pieces and they do the job. They just cover up your toothbrush and keep it from being exposed to bacteria in the air and then I got this big um gelosity pen also from the Dollar Tree two came in a pack I don't I think I just threw away the other one but I did want to mention that um these are okay they're I mean they're like a gel they are a gel pen but um they you go through it really quickly I don't know what it is I guess that's why I ended up at the Dollar Tree I use this pin up in like a week and a half's time. I've never used up a pen that much. Another pen that I actually like to buy uh, more often is this Precise V5 RT Premium Rolling Ball by Pilot. These are a little bit more expensive. I got this one at my local CVS. Um, I tend to get them on sale over here. They're like two for seven. Maybe you can get them cheaper where you are. But yeah, these are really good, and I get the ones in the extra 5, 0.5mm um, tip, and in the black ink. I love these pen. They're so easy to write with. They, they just glide on the piece of paper, and I'm a writer. I like to, well, not an actual writer, but I write a lot, and I, and I journal, so they come in handy. And back when I was a student, they were my go-to pen. Um, and this is the Cross Cos RX uh, AC Collection Blemish Cover Patch. These are really good as well. Got these at Marshalls for $4.99. They're really good. There was another brand that I initially got. I don't remember the name of it. It was like one of the, um, it was another Korean brand. And it was like a two-step system. This one is just one system, which is why I like it better. Um, and I have a backup of, of this because I paid $4.99 for it originally and then I found it on sale for like three or two bucks during their like yellow tag sale and I love it. It's so good. It really adheres and pulls out the pus in the um, blemish or in the pimple and it really makes a difference. It helps recover that area much quicker um, versus when you just leave it alone or if you extract it on its own. Um, by using this uh, patch, it reduces the pimple and it takes out all of the gunk in there and it um, reduces the uh, scarring or any you know spot left behind much faster. So I love using that. I just have to actually use it. Sometimes I get lazy, but when I do use it, I'm always um, happy with the results. Next is this a uh, lip tinted lip balm by Sky Organics. I also got this from Marshalls. It came in a pack of four. Um, this was in the shimmer shade and this is in the plum. There's a tiny bit left in there and I'm the type that likes to scrape my stuff out. So yeah, uh, but this is, this is, I like organic stuff. So I got it for that reason. I was, these are really pigmented. Um, I was really surprised by that. I thought it was just going to have like a tint. No, this is like a full-on lip color lip balm. Sometimes I use it as a lipstick. So I would repurchase these again, but um, cause they're, but more for like a lipstick lip balm than just like a hydrating lip balm. Like I like to use that with lip liners and they come out really pretty. Finally, this is probably like my third or fourth time featuring this product. I went through it rather quickly actually and it was a really good product I don't know if I would repurchase it I had no problems with it it worked really well with me did the job but also I didn't really see any significant results so I would repurchase it for the price point which I think I got it for like five bucks and for the it's just a really good oil I kind of I'm curious about the vitamin C one from that line I want to try that one out but I feel like they're just oils and I would use it in combination with other moisturizers that actually did a little something more. Like they either like softened my skin more or treated it more. But 
yeah it was really easy to use i do recommend it though um especially for the price point i just don't think it really does what rose hip is actually supposed to do i would rather go back to the one that i initially got from um where is where did i get it from from whole foods and i actually have that container but i found it and this is the one that i had used before and it actually did something so this one is organic and cold press i don't know if they still sell this but this like made my skin clearer or something um or brighter i think it made my skin brighter then i have some candles this is the one from um dw home in lavender chamomile um this smells really good and really strong this is my second time this is my third time purchasing this only $7.99 for all of this but I got this a while back and I bought a backup because of um of that deal and it smells like uh it smells so good it's really smoky herby you can smell the lavender it's really strong um what else is in here yeah it's just, it's, it's really strong and it has a really good throw um i'm kind of over this scent though because i like i said i purchased it three times but it's like a staple at tj maxx marshall's i see it there often another one that kind of surprised me is this relieve your stress eucalyptus spearmint by who is this by i think they're pronounced leobin leo leobin company is it leo and bin like those two combined or lobin I'm not sure how you properly pronounce it, but that's the company. And this is really strong. Um, I think they use, yeah, infused with essential oils, it says here. But this has a very strong throw. I could still smell this. It smells really good. And it is a very relaxing and something that would relieve your stress. I was initially using this when I, um, I like to light a candle when I take a shower or when I take a bath. So I was using it for that purpose. I wanted something small in a small space, but this will fill up um, a, a, a room and you can smell it across a room much stronger than you can the DW. So I think I'm going to purchase more from this brand than DW Home because of the throw, but um, I don't think they have as many scent options as DW Home has, but yeah, that's a really good brand. Next is some products that I'm still working on, but I'm pretty much done with. Let me start with the nail stuff. I'm just going to go ahead and bring them all at once. Here is the Ori Orly uh, Glosser High Shine Top Coat. I'm like pretty much done with that. Again, I like to use my stuff up. I like to get my money's worth this china glaze strong adhesion i still have a little bit left i got a good amount of that left but i'm gonna count it it's, it's gonna be done and then this um spiritual cuticle cutie clean cuticle stain remover this does a great job at removing the cuticles but not so much stains um on your nails but um, this base is a good, I feel like my uh, nail polish lasts longer when I use this base, but I've also noticed more staining since using that. So I don't know what that's about. I don't know if there's an ingredient in there. This Orly Glossy, Glosser High Shine Top Coat, I have no complaints about this. And I got it on sale for like either two bucks. Again, I got this on the yellow, um, yellow tag sale. So, but these two were regular price. I don't remember how much. I think this was like three, $3.99 and this was like $5.99. And I would repurchase all of these over again with the exception of the China Glaze because of the um, staining of the nails. I don't know if it's a coincidence or if it's the cause, but because of that, um, I would be wary of repurchasing it, but it does the job. And then for some skin products, I used up pretty much used up this um ev ev evolu derm um micellar water is in french um 
and I have this much left so I'm pretty much done with it. I love micellar water. It does the job with like cleaning up makeup. I think I got this for, yeah, here it is, $3.99. I think these went up in price too. I think they're $4.99 now. But then I think they went back down because people were really buying it. But I'd recommend that. The only thing I would do is I'll get the sensitive one next time because it's a little bit harsh for my skin. My skin eventually got used to it, but it does lean a little harsh. Then lastly, I have this toothpaste that I've been using for from Luminex. I really like it. I'm pretty much done with it. It's actually made my white, my teeth a little bit whiter. Not like crazy white, but just a little bit whiter for it to be... A natural or more natural product and it hasn't messed with sensitivity um, and I got this main the main choice uh, this serum oil mist this was really good too the smell is not my favorite but I only have this much left and it's been doing me really well I highly recommend this too because it really does hydrate moisturize and what I wanted was a shine it really does give a good shine and last but not least is Jason vitamin E this smells so good it smells like um like cherry blossom scent I still have a significant amount to go but uh I will probably be done with this in the next couple of weeks so that is my empties I want to wish you a merry christmas and a happy new year thank you so much for watching and like I mentioned I'm gonna take I'm gonna take a break after this officially and then I'm gonna try to come back with more content so I thank you for watching and for coming on my channel and yeah happy new year bye okay Brian what day